what's up techies i'm back with another video and we are going to talk about multi-login and proxies so for those who don't know multi-login is a an application that allows you to create multiple browser profiles so that you can simulate having different computers um, and a proxy helps uh, conceal your real ip address so that all your traffic appears to come from the IP of the proxy provider and not your home IP. So why would you want to have this kind of a setup? This is mostly used for by people like Facebook marketers and uh, other kind of e-commerce advertisement solutions because every now and then they need to advertise with Facebook accounts and they have a lot of issues with Facebook. So this will help you show you how you can set up multi login and proxies so the first thing you'll need is a multi login account and this is you just go to multilogin.com and get the, the go to the pricing page you can you cannot really use multi login with the free plan which because you can download but for you to effectively be able to use it you need at least to subscribe to the solo plan I know it's a bit expensive at 99 euros per month however we have alternatives like go login go login is a good alternative but um, it's not as you uh, widely used like multi login and so it, it it misses a few a few features but it's also a very good alternative if you want something cheaper for proxies we are going to use bright data proxies they were formerly called Illuminati and you can see they are pricing here they they give you data center ips residential uh, mobile and so on the difference is data center ips these are ips in a big data center servers so and residential proxies are real people uh real ips from people people's homes and mobile proxies are real ips from mobile phones um also the pricing is usually per, per data used so if you use so much you will pay more um if we also have uh, alternatives to this provider like smart bear i think i think they are called smart bear proxies uh, smart proxy so you can also use this kind of guy so you have varieties it, it's it's not fixed to one guys but for the purposes of this video we are going to use multi login and uh, bright data so once you have your account in both multi login and in bright data you need to log in and so i will go to the user dash, dashboard and when you log in, you have this dashboard, but you are interested in uh, the, the proxies. So you go to proxies and you will have this kind of uh, layout here. So you just need to create a zone. And then you need to select what kind of zone you are. You need to select what kind of zone you need then if you want this data center you click data center isp but for these purposes i will use residential most facebook guys want residentials so you click residential then um you have to say a target domain so this is kind of the domain that you will mostly use this uh this proxy with and for this is maybe facebook.com so you can put facebook.com there you can give the zone a name you can give the name based on what you want or based on the country this is up to you so if i want to create a zone for something like japan i can put japan there for for the zone and it's telling you that i am on a pay as you go plan so you get 17 dollars per gb now this is very expensive because on average when you're browsing on the internet you use between 60 to 100 mbs 
per hour and it depends on the kind of content you're browsing so if it's a lot of text you'll use like 60 but if the websites you're browsing are loading a lot of images video and high graphic content then you will pay uh, you will be using up to 100 mbs per hour so if you use that in say six hours then you see you will use about 600 mbs and so it's very if you use it for around 10 hours in a day you already use a gb of data so if you use this every day in a month you might end up using something close to 100 gb and then it will be very expensive it could it could turn out to be very expensive so you have to be careful how you are using it so then you can go there um for facebook and other kind of people who want uh to be the only ones using these ips you have the option if you leave it as shared your ip can be shared with other people but you need to put it as exclusive then when it's exclusive then you can say whether you want it exclusive to a city or country so if i wanted just to country this is more targeting so this is more precise targeting you can target at city level or country level so for me i want at country level then here you say how many ips you want the number of ips you want so for now i just want the single ip and then the country i was i said japan so i will just use japan there and then um, after that it's going this is the same um target domain you put at the top so you can put facebook.com again here and click add and then with that your zone is ready so you just click add zone and then you click yes so once that's done you can see it's here and uh, the reason why you have this is because you have not white listed any ip so you can come here and edit and under the white list ip instead of having this set to any you can add a specific ip so what that helps is nobody else can use your proxy if you have just said that only your home ip is whitelisted so you need to whitelist which ip will be allowed to use this but when you leave it as any if somebody comes across your your details they can also be able to use your proxy and you don't want that so you can edit here and put a specific ip like 150.21.12. Twelve dot and that for that's a random IP of course. If you add this, only the person with this IP address uh, will be able to use this proxy. Anyway, so that's done. So now you can download this, and then you will see your details for the proxy. So what you need to do now is open multi login, assuming that you've already downloaded it. And if it's your first time downloading, you will you will go to plugins and you will if you're using um, Luminati, you will come to Luminati and activate. Mine is already active. Activate this plugin. If you're using Geosaf uh, proxies, you can activate them. But if you're not using any specific one, you can just use the generic. Um, without without a specific plugin anyways so then what you need to do is click on create new proxy and give it a name maybe mine is japan one or like japan one or something and then um, if you will be creating a lot of proxies in this location you can decide to group them um, so this is you can decide to group them let me take you back home before I create this and show you how to create this. If you go here to groups, you can be able to create groups the way you want. So you can add a group. If you know you'll have like 10 Japan profiles, you can add this as Japan and
every time and every time you you create a proxy in japan you can put it in this folder for japan proxies so let's create our japan profile now let's create as japan japan one respect the country and use a capital for the name and then we will put it in the japan folder and then what do you want it to mimic is it uh, will you use it in a windows or a mac os or a linux so this is if you are if your laptop is a windows it's preferable you just select windows if it's a mac select whatever your laptop is and then you can either use both you can use mimic or you can use stealth fox i just use it as this and then click edit proxy um so which proxy are we using we are using ruminati of course and the proxy type is http so what you need to do here is the host go back to what you downloaded the host is this is the host up to here okay so the the different resources are divided by columns so this is the host and the port you can see the port is 22 225 so you can just type that 22 225 the username the username is massive so here is the username all the way to here let's copy that and put that as the username and then the password is the last bits from here it's the password use that there and then check the proxy to see if it connects you see the connection has passed so it means this proxy can be used so just click on create proxy create profile and there you go if you go back to your japan you can see there is one here so you can go inside and you can see the japan uh the japan profile is ready so if you start it you see now this browser will open and it is indeed in japan so this browser so anything that you type on this browser that has been opened right now anything that you type here will appear as if you are in japan so for example if you go to facebook Facebook will think that you are logging in from Japan. All your traffic that is logged in here on this uh, profile will appear like you are in Japan. And that is how you use multi login with um, proxies. So you can do that for any country that you want and you can have various pro profiles in different countries and you can be able to use it so it's an it's a good alternative for vpn but it's a bit more expensive um it's also a good alternative for vpss so this is used widely and i hope you have learned something and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you until the next one share and subscribe